Hello everyone and welcome to Cyberblink. In this tutorial, we will be learning about a vulnerability called local file inclusion. So before we start, if you guys are really enjoying my content, please make sure to subscribe and like and leave a comment down below. It will really help me a lot to see if you guys are really enjoying or not. So now let's dive into it. What is local file inclusion? In local file inclusion, what we do is to look for some local files and try to exploit it and read some local files on the web server. So first we have to search for a file. You can try visiting some pages like I, and we got a file. It's contact.php. It's in the same directory. So that's why it doesn't use any slash. What you can do is try to read any other file like password file in the etc directory and we didn't get any result. If you didn't get any error or any forbidden of any other error, it means the vulnerability exists on the website. So what you can do is you can just try getting one directory back and we still didn't get any result. You can just keep doing that, getting one directory back and back and back until you get the result. And here you can see we are successfully able to read the past WD file. So you can read some other files like host. So this is how this vulnerability works, the local file inclusion vulnerability. So that's it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching.